lobby next door is the man. What do you see? Oh, nothing. Nothing at all. I practiced all afternoon and got me in the mood. You need some fresh air. I've got to make a call out past the lake. Would you like to come along for the ride? You know that old pavilion out there? Mm-hmm. Will we pass it? Go right by it. Stop and look at it if you like. I would, with you along. Good. This used to be quite a place. It's been deserted for a long time now. Will you take me in? My goodness, no. It isn't safe out there anymore. That's why they put up this barrier. It'd be very easy to step around it. What attraction could there be for you out there? I'm not sure. I'm a reasonable person. I don't know. Maybe I want to satisfy myself that the place is nothing more than it appears to be. Would you take me out there? <laughs> no. The law has placed it off limits. Wouldn't be very seemly for a minister to <laughs> break the law, would it? No. Maybe I can come back some other time. Shall we go along now? with my new boss, an elderly minister. Oh, oh. that must have been a kick in the head. <laughs> I learned that from my other border, Mr. Linden. You got your supper? Oh, I forgot. Well, it ain't no boarding house, but I got some coffee and the sandwich makings left. I could bring you some up after a while. Good. I'll be taking one of those bags you're so generous with. Well, take as many as you want. I ain't going to make a fuss about a thing like that. <sighs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, yeah. What? When you ask me, I'm John Linden. I'm your neighbor right across the hall. Oh, nice to meet you. Would you excuse me? Hey, yeah, yeah. I just wondering. I just you're not doing. Uh, stand right there. Mr. Linden. He has the room across the hall. No, I mean the other one. There is no other. Me and you and Mr. Linden. Us three is all there is in this house. But, but you might have asked him out there. You're needing this food. All about eating makes you jumpy sometimes. Maybe you heard the boards pop or 